Wow, look how the sun is bright. I have been out for quite a while and I'm, I met him to the doctor and um, you know, to get my checkup to see if I'm fully okay. After being in the quarantine for how many days? My quarantine became longer than my husband's quarantine. I don't know for what reason or maybe because of the diagnose. So I'm out now and, and it's as you can see the weather has changed and yet still we still have summer but the weather is changing up and uh, wow I have this beautiful testimony I want to share. I know I'm not an eloquent speaker but there are things that I know that when I share it, it has blessed others and I thank God for that. Let me see if I can get onto a piece of it while standing here. I'm going to start with the Psalms because the Psalms is what makes it so relevant to this testimony. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want psalms 27 and make you know i met a woman in an hospital and not too long ago don't know if her family members will be able to see this not sure they speak some english but i would have hoped that they um they be able to hear this testimony met a woman in an hospital when I had a, a cough that the doctors could not explain to me. They could not even give me the right kind of medication. But the, the cough went eventually. It started back a few days ago to tickle the back of my throat. About two days now. But well, let me get down to what this lady says. This woman is a woman that was given only maybe a few months or a few days or a year to live. And her condition was that her lungs has collapsed. We stayed in the room together. Very elderly woman. If I'm correct um, she was in her 80s and she shared this wonderful testimony of telling her life serving in the church teaching children and then it came to a point that her husband died not quite sure if she had children but at the time when I knew her she had no kids so she was saying that spent a years in the church and she was so pleased to teach the children if you can't hear me that well i'm on the town um, the train station one of the train stations in, in um near to where i'm going and she was on her way to visit some friends because they were traveling so most of them had gone already on the vacation trip and she was on her way to go when she was at the airport and she collapsed. She was rushed to the hospital after the ambulance came and everything and she was told that her lungs had collapsed. This is a woman who had never smoked a day in her life. Occasionally my drink to glass of red wine, white wine, never anything more than just that. And she was on her way out. This woman encourages me, being, would have said her daughter, or whatever, if she had a daughter. And she was encouraging me at the time. 
of um, saying that I must fight to live. And those words took me up another stairwell. When I asked the source of her strength, she quoted the 27 Psalms, but she sticked on the first verse. The Lord is my shepherd. Who shall I fear? She made it look so easy, but I know that it's not easy. Today, as I stand here this afternoon, I must say, at this banner, when I was coming to church, in the train, drawn on my mind about this woman. I don't know if she's still alive. I don't know if she's passed and gone. But they, I remember she said they told her that she would have a, at least a year. I have a nice skirt suit that this lady gave to me. And with parting words, and our time of prayer in the hospital room, we were two in the room, and uh, her motivational words in my life has, has impacted me that though I go through, the Lord is still my shepherd. I don't know who I'm encouraging today, but I just pray that the Lord will be your shepherd and you will not fear what men can do unto you. Our time in this life is short and spent. Even if we have lived till we have catch 80 years or 102 years, our life on this earth is short and spent. Because most of the time when we spend our lives, we spend our lives um, grumbling and complaining. We spend our lives through pains and agony. We spend our life being in deserts and, 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 and we don't know how to get out of it. So our lives are spent most of the time having to think on regrets and all that I may not be that lady's age not even near that lady's age but I've learned that the Lord is indeed my shepherd and I will not want to realize that the Lord is my keeper he has become my healer he has become my all in all and it's a joy and an honor every time i go through a, a certain sort of problems i think my train is here so my voice will be going down a bit no it's not this one another one is coming in a minute time but god is our shepherd our healer, our encourager, our strength, even when we are weak, he is our all in all. So, therefore, we will not fear what men will do unto us. We will not fear what, what, what men will do to us. Leute drin. Es gibt Leute, wo drin ist. Ja. Yeah. Uh, okay, bitte. So, our thoughts and our minds have to be always steadfast on God. Steadfast to know that no matter what we are going through, no matter how feeble situation may look, he is our shepherd. He will always be our shepherd, our guiding force, our rock of ages, our shelter in years to come. Do not worry what men may do to you. Do not, do not worry. All you've got to think about is fret not thyself because of evildoers. Make sure that the Lord is your shepherd. Do not fear. Rejoice and be glad. Think on times and, and places and where you want to be. But most of all, think where you ought to be in Christ. 
a new creation, all things are passed away. All things become new. All things will become new. As I see this, I remember the train is going away. Don't let the train for heaven leaves you thinking of what you have missed in this life. Focus on God, my friend. Focus on the true and living God. I remember that woman's words so kindly. She said, the Lord is her shepherd. In German, it's the Herr is my Erte. You've got to make sure that he's the one that is leading you. And the things that you do, let them be pleasing to God. I don't have much to say to us, but may God richly bless you, lighten your darkness, and you walk through this world with him. God bless you all. Peace.